Hey guys, it's Ninja Bubble 100 here, and today I'm going to be talking about my top 6 tips and tricks for Sony Vegas Pro 13, and I assume these tips and tricks will also work with um, older Sony Vegas's and also newer ones. So, without further ado, let's go right, get right into this. So, at number 6 is fading into another clip. So, say if I drag this clip here, into maybe this clip here and this is really good for transitions to making th for making things look a lot better so if i just drag these into here you can see that this they've made this sort of like blur and if i then play it through you didn't quite see it there but if i then turn up the quality to maybe to uh, auto there well you didn't quite see it but you know what i mean it also it makes a really nice fade um and it and the longer you keep it in like this the longer the fade will be see it slowly transitions into that sort of fade which works quite well and looks a bit more professional and um yeah so number five instead of actually dragging clips to make it so it's you know a bit shorter things like that um you can actually press i generally personally just press s then delete it like that and it's usually a lot more precise so say if I wanted to start it so then it starts straight away where there's like speech or someone's talking then if I just undo what I've done here then if I wanted to start straight away there instead of dragging it and adjusting it for a bit or something like that if I wanted it to start like exactly there where my my ma um where the pointer is I can just press S which splits it and then delete the part there so it's a generally um, from personal use a lot more precise and I it just I just prefer it personally so say if I wanted to start it right there delete that and then just um, just yeah perfect really it just helps and then I can just like blend it not blend it but like how it's it fades like that and now on to number four which is kind of more of a like transition based and it's basically, if you've seen my videos before, you will know that I um, often use um, transitions. And one of these transitions is the Battlefield 4 transition, as you can see here. So basically what I do is I insert a video track that's above um, like the, the clips that I want to transition to and from. And I drag this onto it here and then just kind of make it so then it's the second white. Um, and then I click on properties there and go to media and alpha channel and then change it to pre-multiplied and that basically gives it an alpha channel which makes it more transparent so if you see here see it makes it more obviously it's lagging a bit now but it gives it more of a kind of like a transition in a way and it makes it look a bit fancier and um, usually works well and another transition that I usually use is like a slide one um, so you might have, may have seen this before so if you go over here and go to slide and then I think I often use this one and I just drag it onto the track see that's more like it so that's what I'm talking about and um, it gives it a slide and as well as that to give it a bit more depth I usually add in some like a, a whoosh sound effect here so this one has quite a few if I just delete that video track and I often use this one up here so I just press split split there we go to delete the side of it and then I put it about here and I try to make the um, make the slide just in time with it in a way so whoosh there we go straight up like that and it works pretty well and it's quite a nice com com like uh, like comedy effect which i like to use quite often so the next one it's more if you're working on a long project and you you know you you've spent a lot of time on this project you want to you know you want to kind of just preserve it for another time maybe and basically maybe your computer's prone to um you know from overheating and it like crashes things like that um, and my Vegas sometimes crashes so it's often quite nice to just save every 5 um, to 15 minutes really uh, 5 to 10 minutes can become a bit excessive but if you're learning, learning if you're um, working on quite a big project then maybe as big as this here then maybe you want to go ahead and um, go ahead and save it you know because that often works quite well and is quite good just in case because you don't want to end up messing up 
Okay, so for the next tip and trick, it's kind of more based on people, you know, who don't concentrate so much on how tidy things are. You just like to spread your ideas out on like a canvas and then see what things are like. So this one kind of applies to you and this one is basically, um, instead of holding uh, like shift or something, you um, press D, I think it's twice, yeah there we go, to highlight multiple tracks that you want to say, like m you want to like move them along. So actually, before I do that, I'm going to spread it out so it's quite messy, you know, um, it's not that great, and then these are quite like quite far apart, but these are together, and you want to do both of them together, and maybe you want some, some more, you know, so just shove that on there, you know, just want to move it around, want to get that a bit further up there. So you got all you got all that stuff. I don't know, and basically you just want to press um, you want to just press uh, D twice, so D D. But then it's also down here. So if you're still like this, then you just press this down here, and then you can select all of these, and then just drag these all along, and voila, you've got it. Kind of you know, it's not. I'm not saying this is like a practical video, but um, this is just stuff that I've used before, and then you know. It goes straight up to it if you're moving like a large chunk of film that you want to move up and meet with everything else. And now at number one, this is something I use quite often and it's quite simple to do. And it's just say you've got, um, you wanted to like lip sync something up. So say I've got like this video here and it's not lip synced. Well, basically, so these are completely different tracks. So you're trying to like sync them and things like that. And then, oh, it's not quite lip synced. Oh, well, that's annoying. Well, one thing you can do once you've got them lip sync, so this is lip synced right now, um, then you can just uh, click on that, click on that, and then not do that. I think I split them. Oops. There we go. Okay, so they're like that. Then you press shift, click on that, and then voila. You can just drag them easy. So if that's like, so it's like separate like that. See, I've got it, you know. That was me recording, and he just cut up to this point, and I lip synced um, it up. And then start talking like that or something. Um, so yeah, that's fairly simple and it's easy to do as well. Um, it's not difficult. And that, these are all just tips that I've generally used in um, my videos and things like that. And they work pretty well. Um, and they're pretty good. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. And if you've enjoyed watching this and have gotten something from this, uh, please leave a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see more. Or if um, you know you like what I'm doing and you like the uh, you like the stuff, so uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if, actually, if you're curious to see what the game is here, this is um, Bioshock Infinite, which was like last month's game for gold, um, one of the game for gold anyway, and um, it was free. So I did a review on that. Um, anyway, so yeah. Thanks so much for watching this video and uh, Ninja Bubble 100 out.